Alright, hello. Today I will be talking about the music of Appalachia. So first, let's find out what Appalachia is and who lives there. Um, Appalachia is a region in the U.S. that features the Appalachian Mountains, stretching from New York to Alabama and Georgia. The population in that area is about 25 million uh, current day. Uh, however, most of the people that live here struggle with poverty because of the region's economic problems. Uh, this is from the lack of major cities in the area. The mountainous terrain makes it hard to have like large cities there, so there's not too many of them. Um, so a lot of people live like, 20 to 50 plus miles away from the nearest town. Um, so now that we have some background and information about the region, let's get into what kind of music was made here. Um, one instrument that was popular here and was featured in a lot of music was the banjo, um, which was originally brought to the U.S. by um, enslaved Africans. Uh, this instrument, paired with the fiddle, which is a colloquial term for the violin, um, were popular in Appalachian music. Uh, one of the popular styles of music here was bluegrass music. Um, there was even a certain banjo that was used in bluegrass, which is the uh, resonator banjo. Um, some musicians from this genre that popularized the, popularized the banjo um, included Earl Scruggs, Charlie Poole, and Snuffy Jenkins. Uh, here's a sample of Snuffy Jenkins called Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Um, so you can see that the banjo is the sole part of the song there. Um, the banjo is one of the oldest instruments used in Appalachian music, but the earliest style of music here is considered to be ballad singing. Now, ballads are typically stories not set to music and are usually sung solo. Uh, ballads were first introduced to the area by immigrants from the British Isles. Um, the ballads were typically about current events that were going on, some were love songs, and others were tales of the hardships of war. Um, here's a ballad song by a lady from Madison County, North Carolina. Her name is Donna Ray Norton. story told in song. It's just some... Um, as you can see, uh, they're meant to tell a story, as she said as well. This is one, this one's obviously being a love song. Um, as you can see, the music of Appalachia, or the Appalachian Mountains, has derivatives from uh, many places outside of the U.S. Again, these include African, British, and other various uh, European influences. Some more popular artists from the Appalachian area include, but are not limited to, Doc Briggs, Doc Watson, and Roscoe Holcomb. Uh, here is a song by Doc Briggs. It's called Country Blues. Come on, you good Um, so, again, that was uh, Doc Boggs, uh, Country Blues.
Obviously, you can hear the banjo pretty prominently in that. Um, so, learning about the music of Appalachia has opened my eyes up to an area where I didn't expect this music to be played. Um, I also like the music that was played here because it actually it tells a story of what was going on in the past or what they were going through. Um, so, yeah, overall, I found Appalachian folk music to be very interesting. Thanks for watching.